Hello and welcome back to Nermageddon here on KZLX LP Maryville and also on the KNWT YouTube channel. Thanks for hosting us. I'm your host Simon Clark. With me I have... Hello, I am John Taylor, the mean green red beard machine. You know how it is. You know I, how I it love, is. I love that you finally made an intro for yourself. He told me. We he, spent the past 20 minutes <laughs> talking about it's it. because Simon told me to before yeah. the show. <laughs> no, I didn't tell you to say what you wanted to say. There was something else there. It's okay. I had thoughts. On my other side, though, I have... Hey, folks. Richie Rivetto. How you doing? I almost laughed at your guys' intro because I looked at your computer screen. <laughs> <laughs> and you have Biggie Cheese as your uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, and then we also have a guest tonight. I would like to introduce Emma Bjork. What's up? Book lover extraordinaire. Book Here lover to give my book opinions. I love it. I love it. Okay, so a couple things about tonight's episode. Uh, at the time of recording for On Air, it is uh, Tuesday, the 22nd of 2022. Meaning, or Tuesday, February 22nd of 2020. 2020. You can do it. <laughs> you got it. Thank it's you. Just a I got it. I got it now. Anyway, so everything is a two today, uh, which is the only time we'll have it for another hundred years. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So today we're talking about uh, the worst book to movie adaptations to start off uh emma i think you can like start us off on this you have some pretty deep feelings about this as a book lover well i mean you want the worst uh, give me the worst percy oh, jackson and the it. lightning thief oh, thank you and absolutely I, I stand by that i think that everybody in here is in agreement I think, it's yeah, that was probably the number one thought whenever trash. you think of it. It's yeah. absolute trash. I feel like there's more bad book-to-movie adaptations than there are good. Oh, there are. It's easier I could, to I list. could name another five, six, seven yeah. bad adaptations. Yeah. And I, I could go on about that all night, honestly. Honestly. Um, so what I want to do... What I want to do is I want to kind of go around the table and talk about our least and possibly favorite ones as well um you've already given us your least favorite uh, i think we should finish out the rest of the table uh richie what's your least oh. favorite book to movie adaptation i'm putting you on the spot i'll be honest i thought we were only doing favorite <laughs> I I so too, but if you've got some least favorite do you have uh, any a mind? least favorite book to movie come back to me <laughs> come back, come back to you okay if I could steal yours, I yeah. could talk a whole lot about that. Oh, steal okay. it, by all means. I read at least the original five books of the Percy Jackson. So good. Super. Yeah. Those are my favorite books. To be granted, I started on the second one because that's what my grandma gave me as a gift. So I kind of didn't know what was going on. That's actually but, that's actually my favorite book in the series, surprisingly. The second really? one? The second one's I'm my sorry, favorite. I'm sorry you're wrong. No, it's a lot of fun is no, the reason why wrong. I like it. It's cool. The, no. Emma's the book cool. expert. It's the okay best one wrong. is the fourth okay one. That's the labyrinth, right? No. Well, okay. Controversial. The fifth and the fourth are both the best ones like oh, yeah. those are the top two okay it, it flips back and forth for me day to day which one's the best one see now my fiance would argue that the third one is the best one the titan's curse the third one is the third best one third best what's the worst best worst two best. two <laughs> dude i like two <laughs> okay, two i like two the... it's good but it's not memorable it is I memorable. Remember. We get we it's get no. introduced. Yes, I forgot. You don't remember know. it because you started. Yeah, it. I know. That's not fair. <laughs> okay, we get introduced right. to Tyson in it. We love Tyson. We do love Tyson, and you know where we get more Tyson? Book four. <sighs> okay, fine, <laughs> fine, <laughs> fine. Richie, what were you saying? Oh, I was just saying two is also good, but she brought up the good point that I started there. Yeah, yeah every everybody's start is their favorite. You know what I mean? That's fair. So Everybody's going to have a little more nostalgia for the first book in the series, and for you, that was two. Yeah, I don't know why. But hey, wasn't it Sea of Monsters? Yep, yeah, Sea of Monsters. That's a good one. That's, that is a good one. It's a horrible movie. Horrible movie, and yeah. I'm glad that nobody talks I'm, about it ever. I'm so glad they didn't make a third one. Yeah. It just would have kept going downhill. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad they didn't ruin Nico. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, so for me, I would have to say my least favorite book to movie adaptation would have to probably be um, <laughs> Journey to the Center of the Earth. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't like the movie? You don't like which one? The one with The Rock in it. You don't <laughs> like that one. <laughs> don't like that one. So you do like the one with Brendan Fraser? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Brendan Fraser. Fraser. It's okay. Brendan Fraser. He's our baby page. boy. Okay, He's yes, our sweet yes. baby boy. Yes, we love he him. Is. He has a problematic <laughs> teen in that one. He was a problematic <laughs> teen. Did, with who was that? Oh, my gosh. He was in Zathura. 
Oh what? my goodness, he was! Uh, the, 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 oh god, I'm trying to remember his name. I can't remember what his name was, but... Anyway, you know yeah, the, the, exactly you know I see his face. The problematic teen from Zathura. You know what? I should have actually said Zathura. Zathura was a pretty, was a pretty bad book to movie. Uh, oh, book to movie it's so good edition in the childhood there. childhood memories, though. I know. Movie. I know. <laughs> but yeah, I did not like that movie. Uh, adaptation of Journey to the Center of the Earth, even though I didn't read the book until many years after. I'm like, dang, this movie's really bad. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, I shouldn't be taking all the spotlight. John, tell us about your least favorite. Mine is another kind of obvious one. I, uh, as a big fan of this book, I was really sad to see this movie coming out very recently, and it didn't do as well as I'd like it to. Ready mm-hmm. Player One. Really? Ooh. I was a big fan of that book. I read that all throughout high school, and I continued to reread that a lot. And then when that movie came out with Trusted Michael Bay as the director, I was just like, hey, maybe it looks kind of cool. looks pretty good. And although a lot of the there was a lot of cool aspects in the movie, it just did not follow the storyline with the book whatsoever. And like sure. the book was l- Steven Spielberg. Thank you, producer. Sorry. <laughs> magic Steven's, producer. <laughs> magic producer. Guy. I know. It, yeah, Michael Bay. You know, it, Yes, Steven Spielberg, but like the, reading the book, I mean, it's literally about an Easter egg. So it's literally uncovering a, a, a secret within reading the book and watching the movie. It's just like, boom, video games, boom, video, like all this stuff. And it's, mm. I, I personally did not like the movie. I liked the book more. That's fair. My brother read the book. I didn't read it and I didn't see the movie. So I have no basis on that. But I trust your judgment. You are. Yeah, they, they yeah. cut a lot of good stuff out and they just really didn't. I mean, if they set it up for multiple movies, maybe, but they really just went like, boom, here it is, and that's all we've got. And yeah. Yeah, the book is always better. A- exactly, so. and they do have multiple books that continue the story. So it's it's very difficult, but we're reading it and watching it, it was just like two different, completely mm. different things what I thought it was going to be whenever I watched it. It was... You know, you know, see, you I know? never, um, sorry if you might like an interject here. Yeah, go for I it. I never read the book, but I did see the movie. And after watching like the modern day Space Jam, it's like the same thing. Where they just <laughs> yeah. Try, <laughs> they oh try to shove That's everything they can though. into it, dude. I didn't even the think modern day Space Jam. That's I didn't even think of that I sequel didn't either. Think of that either. No, they, that they, they, totally. But I'm trying to relate it to Red, no, Red yeah. Player One, where they both just like said, "Okay, let's get as much properties exactly. as we can and just put everything into this, and then just put it all in the trailer. Just send it. Exactly. Send it. Space all right, Jam. There we go. Space Jam Two with LeBron James." <laughs> Oh anyway, God, it's held together with tape, man. It, it, really it really is. is. <laughs> really is. I never saw it, and I don't want to see it because I feel like it's gonna sully the already horrible first <laughs> Space Jam. Whoa, it's pretty. Dude, it's bad. Have Watch it again recently. It? Watch it after being a production <laughs> student Ooh, or a broadcast okay. student. It's the worst. I don't, don't think like I want to actually. It's still that's the best part of it, though. I like the though. nostalgia. Of I'll keep. It. It. I'll keep it in the back of my head as a memory. Listen, Michael listen. Jordan's kids do a better job of acting than Ooh. he did in that movie. That's all I have to say. <laughs> he could probably do a better job acting. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. We there are Looney Tunes there to compete with, so oh, we yeah. don't know. Some anyway, we've got. Um, so what John was mentioning before, or actually what you mentioned, uh, that the book is always better than the movie. Do you think that there is a case where the movie is better than the book? Um, or has there been one at least? I mean, it, okay. So it depends on the order in which you read or see it. A lot of times if Uh you see it first and then read it, you tend to like the show or the movie or whatever it is better. I will say this is a TV adaptation, not a, a movie adaptation. Mm-hmm. But one of the best adaptations that I've ever seen is Shadow and Bone. Okay. And it doesn't stick to the book. And it connects two different series into one. Um, and the books, honestly, were boring. Okay. Th- there was not that much happening. And in the show, they just elevated it by like a thousand percent. And it was so good. Mm. Go watch it. It's is that, amazing. Is that the is that the TV directing? Uh, <laughs> this is the TV directing. Uh, was that yeah. what that was? Okay, I just wanted <laughs> yeah. to make sure. I just wanted to make sure we we're on the same page. So, some yeah. inside class jokes, apparently. Yeah. Inside class for jokes. Presentation yeah. about yes. a, a show. I did a presentation did. about it for okay, a class. Okay, cool. Because it's just elite. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was gonna say the original like Little House on the Prairie series, because mm. I really enjoyed the like original old TV series as opposed to reading that boring, boring book. 
because I was forced to read it when I was like 12. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't like it. I would say a lot of classics that have been adapted are arguably better than uh-huh. the books. Yeah. Like Great Gatsby, I feel like it was just a fantastic movie. Um, debatably better than the book. Pride and Prejudice, like a lot of classics because yeah. they're tougher to read. No. Mm-hmm. A lot of people probably have only seen the movies and would probably say, oh, this movie is just a really good movie, so it's got to be better than the book, right? Yeah. And if it's if it's somewhat better or, like, already on par with the book, it will probably overshadow the book more than likely a lot of the times, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. One that comes to mind for me is uh, uh, Willy Wonka. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, really? yeah. Roll yeah. Dolls Willy Wonka is way darker because people die, like, legitimately die. And in what? the movie, they lighten it up, and they're just like, look at these little dancing orange men. <laughs> it's, it's okay. They're all fine. <laughs> look at the fella's smile. <laughs> look at the fella's Have smile. Have some chocolate. Yeah. Get stuck in a, you know, a tube or yeah. whatever. And you're going to inherit my fortune, you poor, <laughs> poor child. <laughs> but going back to the thing, I would have never, never read the book if my fifth grade teacher never forced me to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I would just put in the dark the entire time and I thought that it was just book. a movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think we've all talked about our least favorite uh, book-to-movie adaptations. Oh, yeah, um, real quick, we can go around and say our favorites because I'm sure we'll all have very similar opinions in this area as we're all for broadcasting yeah. students I mean, yeah, slash never, for mine, broadcasting writing. Yep. You've never read a book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've Wait never a read a, book, <laughs> a single book. No, for the movie, I mean, I've never read the book, but, like, it's such a, uh, again, what, like I said earlier, it's such a good movie, and mm. it follows the book so closely that it's probably... Well, what what is that? The Princess Bride. Oh! oh. It's probably, yeah. like, I've never read the book, well, but I know they right. literally read the book and yeah. pretty much showcase the story, so I don't know if that necessarily it's, counts. It's done really well. That's but, all yeah, I'll exactly. say. It's done so well that. that I can just, I feel like I could read it, imagine it, and since I've seen the movie, it's just, I would be picturing the movie reading it. I feel yeah. like that's exactly what, and I feel like that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, you just made me think of something, all right? <laughs> so they're reading the book in The Princess's Bride, right? In, like, kind of a, like a metal way. So okay. does that all, does Shrek also count? Because he's reading the book at the beginning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, that's a good point. It didn't start as a book. It didn't. You're right. But but I'm technically, just going doesn't here. everything start as a yeah, book because scripts script? exist? Yeah. No, we're we not found a loophole. We're not talking about <laughs> any loops on the table now. <laughs> we're all not right. talking about screenplay adaptations. We're <laughs> just talking about books. Uh, Emma, what is your favorite uh, book to movie adaptation? Uh, well, I kind of already said it. Shadow and Bone. Shadow and Bone. It's a TV adaptation, but it counts in my heart. That's fine. I get that. Richie, do you have one? Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat? Cat in the Hat. hat. (laughs) Dude, no, that's actually a really good good choice. It's a good choice. It's so unhinged. It's so funny. Very unhinged. In fact, the Dr. Seuss estate straight up said they will not do any more live action (laughs) Dr. Seuss films because of that movie. The only and last one. Godspeed, Dr. Seuss. Godspeed. Cat in the Hat. (laughs) Godspeed, Mike Myers, Cat in the Hat. Threatening children with bats since 2008. Man. Um, okay, so for me personally, I think it has to be Polar Express. Polar Express? What? Polar Express was a picture book first. Was oh, it? no, I know what it I, I know what it was. You don't have to explain mm-hmm. this to me. I know. But I'm just why? saying. why? Because. The Polar Express is objectively okay. a boring Careful. movie. One, one, oh, one, one my reason, God. One, one reason and one reason alone. That that amazing scene where they're getting that train off the ice lake. That is pretty, Not that in is the pretty book. lit. That is pretty, uh, not in the book. They that's add that's something. Why the movie's better. They add something <laughs> really cool to a book that was already totally cool. You know what I mean? Plus, Tom Hanks was everybody. Plus, Tom movie. Hanks was like eight different people. <laughs> I love the bum. <laughs> he's he's so, the bum he's on the train. So good. There's Listen, the bum on wait, the train okay, too. Actually, I'm to, never... to, I know you seem to be in distress. Let me say though, once the train hits the North Pole, you turn off the movie. It's done. It's boring after that. Honestly, I'll say yeah. that. Yeah, I forget the rest. Why would you train, turn though? on the movie in the first place? Uh, That's a good because movie. Because train and you got the homeless guy and it's funny and they ski down the train. I don't yeah. know. This is this the is hot science, chocolate, not mine. The hot chocolate song. The is hot awesome. chocolate song is the only redeeming factor. No, no. Oh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. The the heartwarming story that you get of a child who didn't believe in Santa Claus, thus believing in him again. The train drifting scene. The train uh, yes, train yes, Tokyo yes, drift. Yes. It's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, the bum, the caribou, <laughs> Can we just, the caribou, <laughs> the bum, the caribou, 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 the bum,
bum the, the caribou. Guy, the guy getting his beard yanked so he sounds like the caribou. Yeah. <laughs> Iconic. I'm telling you. It's a great it's a great Memories. book to movie adaptation. Unfortunately. It is a book to movie adaptation. I didn't know there was a book. All right, let's go. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're gonna have to move on to the second part. Funny funnily enough, that's not a that's not a word, is it? Funnily. Funny. Okay. Funnily, funnily enough. enough. Yeah, no, yeah. Funnily like, enough. It's like a wide opening and you pour like oil into it. Okay, thanks, car. Richie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so the other segment that we're doing is because of <laughs> Tuesday we is what we're you? doing. No, no, I said Princess Bride. Yeah, oh, yeah, Princess that's Bride. right. Sorry, wow. sorry. Wow. We started with him. We started with him, Richie. Yeah, John. Sorry. This is just so. Anyway, since it is. Tuesday, Two. um, we were going to talk about the our, our favorite and least favorite sequels, but I think because of lack of time, we should stick to just our favorites. Oh, so we're going to talk yeah. about this, yes. Sir. <laughs> talk at length about this, John. I think you already know. I don't want to start. I'm going last. You don't want to start? You're going to no, go last. last. Okay. <laughs> then I'll go to the other side of the table. Emma, are you ready with one? <laughs> oh, of course. Okay, go for it. The best sequel of all time. It's a book. Because, okay. of course, it is. Okay. I'm the book yeah. expert. I can't yeah. come on here with without a book. Uh, a Court of Thorns and Roses, the sequel, A Court of Mist and Fury, so much better than the first mm-hmm. book. It's like a different series altogether, and it's amazing. I, I'm currently starting ACOTAR, which is the acronym for it, A Court of Thorn and Roses. So I'm Thorns, starting it. Plural. R- Thrones? Thorns. Thorns. Plural. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, Simon. Anyway, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, I'm just, I'm just listening. Hey, I'm only two me. chapters in, and I don't have much of a basis to go off of besides of what my fiance says, and she raves about the second book, so I trust your judgment. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. The, the first book is like a completely different book, and by That's, the time you get yeah. to the second one, you have better characters, you have a better location, you have a better plot. Like, everything about it is better. Yeah. It's just elevated. I, I totally get that. Yeah. So, Richie, <laughs> what's your favorite hello. sequel? Okay, so I tossed around the I this I struggled with this a lot. I got to be it, honest with it you. It is hard. It is a very daunting question of what is your favorite sequel if just like and then maybe start thinking like is it book, is it movie, or what is it? And be whatever. I, I asked you if I could also pick a game, you know, cuz I figured that's that's more my bag unfortunately. No, you know? that's fine. But uh you know, Dark Souls 2. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I, I knew I like that was coming. The first one. I'm the, I know I'm all. The, uh, four, I know all three of you way too well, don't I? Uh, unfortunately, yeah. It's okay. I think Do we you need a break from each other. Be? I'm sorry, Simon. <laughs> what? We might need a break from each other. That's what? Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not yet. Dark not yet. Souls. Dark Souls 2, though. I've played I think it. It's fun. It's. It's fine. I know. <laughs> lot, that's, that's the thing. A lot of people don't like it, but I think it's good. I remember when I was actually sitting down and playing it for the first time. I kept texting you about it. And I was like, I hate this game so much. This is so hard because I've played the other two. I know. It's so different, but oh I like it because it's so different. Yeah, I get what you mean. Uh, John, I want to get yours in. You want to get mine in? Yeah. Okay. Mine is a movie as well. Well, not as well. No one's done a movie. Mine is a movie, and I, I objectively think Godfather Part Two is better than Part One. Now, I know there's three movies in this series, but the third one third doesn't one exist. Is, doesn't exist. It it's doesn't exist. It's objectively bad. It is, it, 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 I don't even know what that movie is. The second one is far better in every way, in my honest opinion. The only sad thing about it is it doesn't have Marlon Brando, but I think, I think it gets by. I, you know what? I know I, you disagree with that. But. I appreciate your opinion, but I am a part one purist. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you. Listen, Robert De Niro perfects the young life of Don Corleone to T mm-hmm. and they've got so much well then technically wouldn't have wouldn't it have been a prequel technically but it's hmm hmm it still that's, incorporates that's, that's, all right it's that's something we can talk about yeah. <laughs> for hours <laughs> later um real quickly mine is aliens the sequel to alien the horror movie from night like late 70s i'm pretty sure uh, that's really good. Bounds better than the original. Yeah, it it went from just a strict horror movie to a action horror, and it's oh, it's so good. Why didn't I say Terminator Two? Oh, Terminator Two is the other one. 
Yeah, Ben says that that's his pick. Yeah. Uh, he told me in the back of my brain the chimp that he, the chip that he implanted. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ben. Ben, our producer, implanted a chimp. Ch- not a, a chimp. chimp. <laughs> not a chimp. <laughs> Twice. He I, implanted a chip in the back of my neck. And uh, I can hear him at all times. I got a little monkey swinging around my nervous system. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Osmosis Jones? Osmosis Jones. I love that movie. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're getting close to the end, so let's talk about the Geekomendation. Oh. So I had Geekomended uh, Mandela Catalog. I realized you guys didn't watch it until today because you came into the studio and you're like. I was in my A. You were, you, were, you were not. You were sick. It's okay. Um, and then Emma, you h- only heard it I, while yeah, they were watching vaguely, it earlier. <laughs> vaguely heard it. Yeah. So I'm not gonna. I watched a little. Time. I'm not gonna make you rate it at all oh, or that, have any yeah, opinions. That'd be good. On it. But there was an at length conversation about it afterwards that devolved into something strange. So Richie, why don't you go ahead and kick us off? What do you think? All right. So like you said, I I front loaded my entire week so I could be prepared for Elden Ring. So I kind of forgot, it's my bad. It's okay. So I watched the one that you recommended, or at least uh, you recommended the whole series. I watched the one that you said, you need to watch this one. It's the most popular one. Um, While I was in the studio, I was laughing while watching it, but that is uh, something I do when I'm with people. If I start getting nervous, I start making jokes. (laughs) So I'll watch the rest of it eventually, probably before the next one. And if I watch it alone, I probably will get scared because why goodness, dude. Dude, yeah. At first I'm like, oh, it's it's like a cartoon, but then like the weird faces started showing up and like the weird talking mm-hmm. and the Christian sim- uh, symbology or whatever it's called. Symbolism. symbolism. That's the one. I, I think I made up sim- a word there. <laughs> one ball. Symbology. <laughs> man, I'm so smart. I got so many words going in and out of my brain. I can't, I get it. you know. Yeah. I, I get it. It's okay. One, so. Yeah. Um, uh, rating, though. Yeah. Uh, since I only saw one out of the, like, many that there is, just give it a quick, you know, standard 2.5 out of 5. For the uh, for the base, you know, two point five out of five what? Uh, scares. <laughs> two point five out of five <laughs> scary. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. All right, John, what were your first reactions to it? Because you watched it with Rick. Yeah, I was watching it with him, and it was. I didn't. I didn't really know what to think about it. It looked like one of those classic like two thousands like old Christian. Mm-hmm. Bible stuff you'd watch. And yeah, <laughs> and fun fact, actually, that's like in the first chapter. That's the only. That's the only one that looks like that. Funny. All the other ones are like <laughs> l- live Normal? action. Yeah, yeah. They have like actual people in it. Oh wow. Yeah, it, yeah, gets, they, it gets stressful. No, <laughs> that, oh, yeah, for sure. Going through it, I just felt like it was taken over by some kind of SCP like creature, yeah. and it was like. <laughs> I was enjoying watching it with Richie because he was just like, "Man, if I was by myself, this would be, this would be." <laughs> like, if I was by myself, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad be you guys are here. So scared, man. Am I glad you're here? <laughs> it was pretty good though. I would give it a solid. I had, to, I, I need more context, and I'll probably watch the rest of it. But I'll give it a mm-hmm. solid one and a half out of five. Okay. Scares. You know what? I appreciate both of your honesties. Um, Emma, would you like to geekamend something? I would love oh. to. Okay. Um, I've been talking about it this whole show, so don't be surprised when I say Shadow and Bone. Okay. On Netflix. Uh, Netflix. You All only right. have to watch the first episode, but if you binge watch the whole series, I will talk to you about it at length. <laughs> okay. That sounds good. I think that's something we can all do. I think we all yeah, have Netflix awesome. accounts. Yeah. Perhaps. I do. Yeah. Maybe. Good. Yeah. I think so. And even I, if you only watch the first episode, please talk to me about it because I love it with all my heart. Of course. <laughs> yeah. So, Emma, thank you for coming on. Thank of you course. for the great geek commendation. Oh, thank you. Uh, boys, as always, thank you. Uh, I'm glad I could be a guest this week. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's boys, wrap it up. Let's go. You know how it is. And uh, as always, <laughs> you nerdy here, here first. first. Since 2014, the Northwest Recycling Center has been serving the Maryville community and the Northwest campus. Every year, 1.5 million pounds of cardboard and 100,000 pounds of plastic are recycled through this facility. segment. I don't have a plan. Hey Paige, I think I'm the best crew member. I'm the best crew member. I'm the best crew member. Where's it coming? This season, it's every man for himself. Who will win the Pixar tournament and take over as producer of Nerd Central? It's gonna be me. Nerd Central!